Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. Today we are going to be playing Hinata Mind Splice Apparatus Just Sky Control Show. It's going to be a standard best of one list with average converted mana cost 2.6. It has 2 creatures, 32 non-creatures and 26 lands. It's mostly, let's say, a um, is it dominated deck? But kind of not really, right? So it's a Just Sky Control list that utilizes 2 cards, Hinata, Dawn, Crown, and mind splice apparatus basically the deck is built around these two cards now they kind of have similar effects that's why i wanted to put them together and make something happen out of it i wanted to make a different kind of deck for a, for a mind splice apparatus uh clearly you can play the card in, in multiple different decks but I, I like what i came up with here we're utilizing a lot of the X cards, uh, like Syncopate, Mishra's Command, Torch Breath, uh, Silver Scrutiny, or also uh, also um, White Sun's Twilight here. So this is what we came up with, right? Uh, it's very straightforward. Mind Splice Apparatus basically makes your, your spells cost one less to cast, um, so the X can be paid for a lot, right? So uh, by a lot. So it's it's very good nonetheless here. So let's get right into it, right? Syncopate 4 of as our main counter spell of choice here, because, you know, if you have a Hinata on the board, if you have Mind Splice Apparatus and it has like four or five um, oil counters on it, it, it makes the syncopate just much better. So you're you're initially paying for a one mana hard counter spell because most likely your opponent won't be able to pay for its tax. Mishra's Command as well here has been kind of underwhelming. The card is not very flexible where you can have it work in, in every situation, but it's been decent so far. Like I, you know, like I don't really care for it. If I was to cut this card, I'd probably include uh, either the White March or the Blue March. Um, I'm kind of leaning towards the White March a little more, and I had it in the deck. I cut it before I started even playing the deck because um, it, it was just not it for me, right? But the White March is very good in my opinion, in a deck like this, um, where it can cost much less to cast, and the Blue March is obviously a tempo card that can uh, have you survive a lot. Torch Breath, I, I like it because um, it it says it can be countered. Um, it has it has a discount factor of its own, basically, if it's targeting a blue permanent, like a planeswalker or a creature. And it also um, it, it can cost a lot. You can pay a lot for that, right? So you can kill like a seven or eight loyalty uh, planeswalker, or or you know if 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 you have a lot of oil counters on your mind splice apparatus. Bring the ending here because we're utilize. We have Mirix and we have White Sun's Twilight, so we are playing some sort of poison counter sub theme within the deck uh, white sun's twilight can be our wing con here um, so bring the ending in the late game when we have a Mirix on the battlefield and we have uh, multiple of these toxic creatures that have put a couple of poison counters on our play on our opponent bring the ending can be a very good counter spell um, experimental augury obviously to proliferate it proliferates on the my splice apparatus on the poison counters on your opponent and on our single copy of the fairy temporal P pilgrim also on our fable of the mirror breaker so we can make some plays here and there silver scrutiny obviously you can draw a million cards off of it if it's discounted and it also plays very well with our Teferi, so why not? But it's our main card draw of choice here. Uh, Fable of the Mirror Breaker is obviously here because it's it's a mana fixer, it's a hand fixer, it's 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 just a bunch of things, right? I always like to play a card in control that can cycle through my hand. I always have to have a card that can cycle through my hands, or I, at least I would prefer to have a card like that. Um, just so if we're playing against aggro, I try to dig for my... Um, for my board wipes, if we're playing against control, I ditch my board wipes usually and try to dig for more counter spells and card draw or lands. Um, so this is why I like Fable of the Mirror Breaker here. Um, <clears throat> It also plays very well with the with the token off to fairy. Plays very well with these little toxic creatures here as well. So, uh, Fable of the Mirror Breaker has been uh, great so far. Two Brotherhoods and um, very good card here or for the early game. If if you know if you're going second and your opponent swarms the board, we obviously 
can make something happen with the brotherhoods and i am running to depopulate as well so we have a variety of of board wives right we 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 have board wives that can deal deal with pretty much everything so in total including white white sun's twilight if you pay full uh for for the full effect of it basically seven mana we have one two and and we we basically have six board wipes here so we're talking about mind splice apparatus hinata dawn crown uh crowned obviously hinata doesn't discount as much as uh mind splice apparatus but if you have multiple targets like a mishra's command it makes the you know hinata makes the mishra's command obviously better right um syncopate also also, can you can make you a couple of plays with Hinata? So I've been having a lot of fun with this lately. Um, Teferi is our alt alternate wink on here. Obviously, I mean since we have Silver Scrutiny, we have you know ways to uh, to to wipe the board basically, and it also is a card advantage Planeswalker as well. So very very good. One copy of Farewell and only one, which is quite surprising for a lot of you, but we are playing best of one. And a lot of times, yeah, I mean, you'd want to you'd want to exile a lot of things, but the problem with farewell is the fact that we are running enchantments and artifacts. We do have mind splice apparatus on the field, and we don't want it to leave the battlefield. So running more than one farewell and choosing, yes, it's a flexible card, but sometimes you want to remove your opponents, um, your opponents' artifacts, for example. So for the little artifacts, I, I would rather have Brotherhood's End because it doesn't remove our mind splice apparatus, right? And it doesn't remove our fable of the mirror breaker that's why i only went one farewell here and also if you ever decide to run the white march um you don't really need farewell even so but i have farewell just as a um as like an insurance policy for me for my survival basically or t or to, to to or as a very expensive graveyard hate card basically so yeah within the mana base everything is dual two mirrors we went light on the on the white and red lands here and uh no basics we're running the legendaries and that does it for the list so the list is a lot of fun um hinata and mind splice apparatus paired together made for a very fun list for me i've been enjoying it so far and surprisingly the games don't last extremely long like they're not 30 30 minute games because best of one you know has a lot of aggro and once you turn the game around they usually scoop so yeah with that being said i hope you guys enjoy the gameplay if you do make sure you leave a like on the video it will help me out greatly. Subscribe to the channel if you are new or if you find any value in the content. And with that being said, I'll see you guys later with another video. Okay? Bye. All right. Okay. Well, we have Depopulate. We are going second though, so this is going to be rough. But, not to worry. Um, we're getting lands at least. They're playing a lot of tap lands here as well, which is pretty good. Let's get a blue source. Consider from our opponent. They're on a Simic pile apparently. Let's see how it goes. Maybe one drop here. A spell pierce would be nice from our opponent here. But I'm pretty sure they have protection besides spell beers here. Alright. We have Torch Breath in hand. We have Hinata next turn. Opponent's passing. Alright. Do we slam the Hinata here? Hmm. Maybe we wait. Thirst, okay. <clears throat> so we need to draw cards. That's very important. We definitely need playables. Yikes. Probably have a lot of protection in hand, but no creatures, right? So... Uh, countering their creature bought us a ton of time, actually. Which is pretty good. Alright. Let's just go for that. White Sun's Twilight. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> 
<clears throat> All right. Let's just go for Hinata here. Okay. Might have a bounce spell here for Hinata. Sure. They desperately need a creature here. Ivy, sure. Can't be countered. So they need to protect the Ivy. So the back is appropriate for them. Alright, so. I don't know why it keeps stabbing my both of my blue sources. <coughs> All right. Attack here. Just pass. Yeah, their tempo deck is not really doing its thing, right? Once you get rid of their creatures, they they're left with nothing. Yeah, just protection spells in hand and nothing else, pretty much. So, GGs. Okay, a ton of tap lands. Uh, we have Brotherhood's end though, so and we're going first. So this is a keep for me. Um, yeah. Lead with the coast. <clears throat> we have a mind spice apparatus in hand. Okay. Another tempo deck, apparently. <laughs> okay. Yep. Hmm. So that's what we're doing, huh? Okay. Sure. <clears throat> Another Drake, sure. Slam the Hanada. They only have green sources on, so it's as good a time as any, I guess. <clears throat> Combat research. Okay. These tempo decks are pretty annoying, but should be okay. <clears throat> We're not drawing any lands. Yikes. Alright. Just pass. Another rock priest. Mm, annoying. The only way they win is when they draw the Rot Priest, right? And yeah, they're just doing that, okay. Let's try to counter this Tamiya's safekeeping. And it's a shore up. Okay. Oh, 
all it does anyway. <laughs> so GG's. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Alright. Alright, a bunch of lands, mind splice and fable. Let's go. Play a coast. <clears throat> Buster, sure. <clears throat> Play Fable. It's very good for us. Well, our opponent seems to be on a control deck here, so let's just see. Frustration, maybe a mid range deck. Who knows? But maybe, maybe it's a control deck that runs Restoration here. All right. <clears throat> I'm gonna discard the Brotherhood's End here. Yep. I knew not to discard two lands. Because what if we don't draw one? Alright, let's just, uh... Let's just slam this before a counter spell. <clears throat> they might ramp into a Farewell, so I think we have to keep this Syncopate open. They hit a land draw, they might have farewell next turn. It's, it's a wedding announcement, which is okay, I guess. Okay. Let's just come up on some mana here. Draw some cards even. Okay, just pass for now. See their plays here. The fairy who slows the sunset. One, two. One, two, three. All right. Drawing lands here is uh, pretty bad for us, but we drew Mishra's Command, which is really good. So what we can do here is we can Mishra's Command, uh, discard, deal X damage to target creature. <clears throat> Select a value for X. Huh. Wait, hold up. <laughs> Okay. Mm. <clears throat> okay. I know I could have copied the shaman here, but this is exactly what I wanted. Target a player. Depopulate, which is nice. <clears throat> one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, sorry. Let's just refuel, bro. Drop this. Alright, we drew Mirix, we have Depopulate, the Fairy, Temporal, Pilgrim, okay. Heard you needed a hero. Sure. Here I am. Draw a card. That's I fine. Am here to learn. And then they attack to take the draw here, I guess. Or not. Okay. What's the play here? Okay. 
farewell is expected. So we're just gonna bring the ending this farewell here. <clears throat> Alright. Did they take the draw? Yeah. Okay. Now that is an interesting fact. Alright. Experimental augury. Hopefully we find a removal spell perfect. Sure. Relax. This what we're going to, to do fun. here is mm, gonna play Mirix here. And then Torch Breath. And then just hold up this incubate here casually. We might have another farewell in hand. And the deck is performing pretty uh, well. One, two, three, four. Yeah, they might have a depopulate here as well. It's an Urza. Yeah, it's a it's an it's an Azorius. Um, okay, create a mite. That's a draw. <clears throat> Just pass. Depopulate. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five. One mana, one mana pay six, nice. Teferi's fine. They need to take the draw with Teferi though. I am here to learn. <clears throat> okay. Nice. Interesting. Hmm. We can end the whole game with the White Sun's Twilight here, but can we though? It kills our Hinata. Hmm. I'll take it though. I'll take it. Sure. Okay. <clears throat> Okay, opponent. They still have four cards in hand, which is no joke, but... <coughs> Obviously, we can't let that happen, right? So, one, two, three. They might have a counter spell here. We haven't seen a counter spell from them. Yeah, they're just a, uh, an Azorius like Planeswalker mid range list. Sure. All right. Let's just prep. Put some poison counters in them, so that we um, we can do the thing here, right? I don't know if I need another Hanada here. Oh, this is this is pretty good, huh? All right, uh, I think we need to go for it here. But it can act as protection for our Hinata. Interesting. Okay. 
Okay. Let's just see what happens here. Because they're at 7 at the moment, so... And, and we have a Mirix. Let's see what happens. Okay. Plus, I discarded my second copy of Hinata here, and I, I think we're only running 2. Okay. Yeah, it's definitely a mid-range deck. So we haven't seen a counter spell yet. Um, let's see. Really? Nice. I think on the trigger. We bounce this. Resolve all. I think we have to do it on the trigger, actually. Yeah, they only make one. Yep. They've got a Wandering Emperor, so they're gonna exile the Hanada here. Yeah, this is not looking really good, to be honest. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, thanks. Alright. That's very good for them. Must contend with me. Sure. <laughs> you are not much of a roadblock. <clears throat> Alright, let's try to kill them uh, via poison here. Although killing the Emperor doesn't sa doesn't seem that bad. If we attack all four. Alright, hold up. One, two, three on the Emperor. And then one face. Okay. Years of training for this. Alright, so they're going to make a lot of blockers here as well, which is not fun, but we, uh, let me see, yeah, Farewell is at the bottom, we're at 24, huh? Okay. No, they can easily block here, give this indestructible as well. Bring the ending. I think I might just go for this. They sacrifice, they make... Okay. Yeah, we have a ton of mana for that. Just leave one blue. So one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eighteen. <clears throat> We have 18 one ones, or we're going to have 18 one ones. And they they casually take the block here. <coughs> All right, I just yeah. 
easy blocks for our opponent here, but you just attack nonetheless, right? Okay, uh, let's just go for 17. We gain 17 life, make 17 one ones. And destroy all other creatures. What? They didn't pay the life? <laughs> GG's. <laughs> Alright. That was a game and a half, huh? Nice. <clears throat> Alright. We've got removal. Bring the ending and an app apparatus in our starting hand. So I guess this is a keep. This is going to be quite painful though, thanks to these lands, but should be okay. Soldiers. Sure. Veteran is fine, I guess. Okay. Alright. Pretty good for us. We have to put the Fable down, hopefully. I mean, they might have a Brutal Cathar, but... Just a siege veteran. Okay, so this this gives us a chance here, I guess. Mishra's command, huh? We don't really want to discard anything here. <coughs> Take the block. <coughs> Oh, alright. So how do we get get out of this? We have to kill the Siege Veteran. So if we do it for two mana, that leaves us with three. Three with Mishra's command, we can kill the Veteran as well. That buys us some time, but we lose a treasure token, right? And we can't hold up Syncopate. So I think what we do... Uh, I mean, we kind of have to go for it, right? Or we can do it the, the opposite way, yeah. Alright. Mm. Sure. Okay. Alright, uh, I'm gonna discard one of these apparatus. We're playing against aggro, I need lands. Yeah, we, we need to get to this um, Teferi here, so... <clears throat> we have to clean up the board before we put the Teferi down, because of Brutal Cathar, right? So, another Siege Veteran. So, in this case, I'm just gonna counter this one, honestly. <clears throat> gonna take three from our opponent here, but... Not to worry. Nice, and we get to save our treasure here as well. We have a blocker. Um, gonna put to fairy down, I think. <clears throat> and um, I'm gonna plus for sure. He gets it out of range, so even if they have removal for the reflection, they can't really finish off at the fairy here. So uh, to fairy, we just slam it right. But they might have a fateful absence, of course. I've seen soldier lists that run enchantment removal as well, like enchantment based removal, so.
All right. They're attacking me. Can we afford to go down to five? We have white sun's twilight in hand, so I guess so. I guess so. And the Thalia. That's pretty annoying, but not the worst. Alright, I think here we make the creature, though. Can we pass? Surely we can pass. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we have access to White Sun's Twilight. Well, not yet. You know, the full value of it. <clears throat> we need one more mana, which we can get off of this Teferi here. So I'm pretty sure we can, we can uh, pass comfortably here. We can copy the Spirit. We can syncopate something, we can torch breath something, so I think we're in a very good position at the moment. We can even do both, torch breath and syncopate, which allows us to have White Sun's Twilight next turn for full value. Yeah, that, that's, <laughs> that's not gonna happen, alright. <clears throat> Down to four. Okay, opponent. They pass. Thank you. I appreciate you for passing, friend. Down to 12. We have a Mishra's command here as well. I'm gonna hold on to that, I think. Yeah. Okay. Okay, friend. What's the play now? That's fine, I guess. And the Bordel Cathar, of course. Sure. <clears throat> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, fine. Nice. This has to be worth it. Who's that handsome devil? We're back to seven life. <clears throat> Does this give haste and trample? No, just haste. That's fine. Alright, they might have these blockers. Which is okay, I guess. Let's just keep making these spirits here. I don't need to take the draw at the moment. Let's fable it up. Eyes everywhere. I guess we can give something haste here. Um, sure. Haste. <clears throat> discard haste one discard haste all right the draw here benefits my planeswalker as well and our creatures so that's pretty good we drew mirix as well these have vigilance thankfully Oh, 
Rescue Retriever. Okay. Trades. Sure. Play Merrick's in pass. Man, this is this is such a nice deck here. This is a lot of fun. Yeah, there. Yeah, okay, good game. All right, good game. Nice. All right, so we got there. Nice. <clears throat> Very good. 